cowboy style of life is just different from, you know, living in a big city and having a suit and tie and, and uh, you know, we're all about Jesus here, but we wear our cowboy hats and our boots. And we have a heart for the youth in college here in Weatherford. We do buckouts and bull rides and team ropings and calf ropings and anything to do with arena events. We have a ride every uh, third Monday night of every month. And uh, tonight we're gonna just buck some bulls. We're gonna have a little word. Uh, the rule is you need to be here by seven o'clock and then we'd say Jesus paid your fees and, and you get to ride for free. It's just like heaven. If you don't accept Jesus, uh, before the gates close, then you don't get in, and it's the same thing. We're going to look at uh, Mark, the 10th chapter tonight. Then in the arena, it's simply, uh, it's time to just get real. It was a good rush. Get on the next one. We spend time with the kids. We don't just uh, get here and disciple them and, t and preach at them. We work behind the bucking shoes with them. Other than that, uh, it's, it's church. We came to Silverado Cowboy Church uh, be four years in May. Then about over a year ago, I was laid off. Um, February of last year, I got laid off. My expertise, my background was information technology and came to Kathleen and I said, I really know the Lord wants me to help you in the ministry. And immediately, she knew my background and she said, I have what I want you to do. And that was Fellowship One. We knew what it could do, but we needed somebody that could do it because it is a very diverse and a very extensive program. We, we haven't even scratched the surface. We've had a hard time over the years maintaining the contact information for all these people across the country. And this makes it possible for them to go in and update their own profile. They maintain it. They set up their own password. They're in there. And um, then it's just the ability to mass connectivity. Um, being able to do that on a mass scale. If you're using the technology the way it's designed, it's going to work for you. I love that. I can make this technology do different things. We're using it differently than a lot of other people are using it. And I, and I think that any ministry that wants to go to the next level, that's the thing that you have to do is you have to realize that technology is your friend. And that's exactly what we see Fellowship One doing. Good ride. 